All right, guys, what's up? This is going to be a quick video on how to use your Tradeavate account with Apex Trader Funding and how to log into your Tradeavate account that Apex gives you once you buy your first evaluation account. So, this is my active subscriptions. This is my membership information. I'm on the Apex Trader Funding dashboard. So, you press the Apex Trader Funding dashboard once you purchase your first evaluation account. Um, so, once you're to this point and you've purchased your first evaluation account, you would see on the right hand side here there is a trade of eight account login so it's got the username and it's got the password and the password is currently hidden so i want you guys to load up the trade of eight website load up the trade of eight website you're going to copy the username you're going to copy the username on the trade of eight account i'm currently on my girlfriend's account i wanted to start a fresh account to show you guys what it looks like on a fresh account when logging into trade of eight and how to um make your charts look clean and get all the um just the noise it, there's a lot of noise on trade of eight when you first log into it it's going to look kind of complicated it's going to look um intimidating but it's super easy to navigate and i'll show you guys how to do that so i copy my username paste my username into the username and then i'm going to blur this out on the video but we're going to copy the password and we're going to paste the password into the password and on trade of eight website now we're going to log into the account. It's taking a second here. All right, it's going to pop up market data subscriber certification. So we're going to be, we are non professionals, guys. We are going to sign up non professional. I'm going to press next on that. It's going to have me agree to the uniform subscriber agreement. You're going to, it's going to, you can read through this if you want. I have read and agreed to the Federal Electronic Signatures and Global and National Commerce Act e-signature so I'm gonna sign so I'm just gonna press sign all right now I've successfully signed the agreement we're gonna close this I'm gonna say never so now I'm gonna scroll down all the way down you can read through this stuff if you want except and then it says simulation, select a trading mode. I'm going to access simulation. Okay, so here is how you change your time frame on the candlesticks. So on trade of eight time frame. So you're going to go to the top left of your screen under the MNQ under the last price. You're going to hover over the, the charts, the charts. You see the zoom in option and the zoom out option are the top left. And then there's five minute time period. So I'm on the five minute charts under time period. If you select this 5M, you're going to have all these options. So this is how you change the time frame of the candlestick. So a five minute, one minute, 15 minute, all, all the options here. So you could put, press 15 minute. It'll change to the 15 minute candles, change it to five minute. I'm just going to leave it on five minute. You can change the type of candlestick. I personally would just leave it on candlestick and, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Here's how to add some indicators if you guys want to use indicators. And then, yeah, this is how you zoom in and out of your chart. You can also just use your scroll wheel. So, what I like to do, I think this might have used my, I don't know if your guys' will look like this, but as you can see, these are um, called, what are they called? Modules, I believe. Let me see real quick. Yeah, these are called modules. So, we got the chart module. We got the positions module module and we got the orders module. So you can delete these modules. So I can delete this, okay? And it'll just start clearing space. So you can go through all your modules and delete the ones that you don't want. So like for example, I don't need those. I'd like to see my positions, my active positions. But this is my chart right here. This is my trade of eight chart. If you have multiple charts open, you can the the charts are modules as well. So you can close multiple charts. You can just have one chart open like this. This is what I prefer. So we have the positions module at the bottom. We have the chart module here. If you want to add or remove modules, like I said, you can just press the X on the module to close the tab and remove them. And then at the top left, you see add modules. At the top left, there's add modules. And this is where you can add the modules on trade of eight. If you want to explore and just check out what they got, you can. I personally only use trade of eight when entering positions, entering and exiting. I use trading view, which is this right here. Trading view is what I use for my charting for doing my technical analysis. I use trading view 
for placing trades, I use Trade of Bait. And this is Trade of Bait. This is the login. This is the brokerage that we're using through Apex Trader Funding that I personally use. So now we have our chart up right here. I already have MNQ loaded up, but to change your ticker, you see on the top left here, you just select the ticker that it's currently on, on your chart, and then you type in, so MNQ for example, it's already on MNQ, but it's MNQ Z4. So MNQ Z4, it's already on there. Then I also have gold. Gold ticker is GC G5. GC G5 to get gold. And then I can, I don't know why I have these open. I'm just gonna delete these. Don't need Microsoft or Bitcoin or whatever that was. So the two tickers that I trade are NASDAQ and gold. This is MNQ, which is micro NASDAQ. This is regular gold. I think you can also do M G C G four. Hold on. Let me figure out what it is real quick. Oh, sorry. M G C G five M G C G five would be for micro gold, micro gold. So micro gold and micro NASDAQ. That's the ones I, that's the only tickers that I trade. So that's how you change the ticker amount. And then up on the right hand side here, you see account and it says Apex 271 blah, blah, blah. So you'd press the drop down arrow. If you have more than one account, you can press this drop down arrow. And this is where you can access all your accounts from one login. So this trade of eight login, we logged into trade of eight. This is where we access all of our accounts. So we can have up to 20 active accounts. So these two accounts are currently active. I can manage, I'm on the first account, as you can see the one on the right side of it. So I'll select the second one. This is the second account. They both have a balance of 25,000 right now. So I can select either account. So to see your trailing drawdown. So as you can see, my balance is now at 24,935 on this evaluation account. To see your trailing, to see your um, trailing drawdown, it says right here, TR max drawdown. And if you go on the right hand side here, it says 1,436. That's the max amount of money I'm able to lose on this account before it liquidates. Before I, So if I were to lose $1,436 right now, I would blow this account and have to restart a new evaluation. So now selling and buying market. So how to enter and exit positions, right? So this is how I enter and exit positions. So you have to select the market, I mean, select the ticker that you want. So this is micro NASDAQ. So let's say I just wanted to short micro NASDAQ. Let's say I'm entering shorts on micro NASDAQ. I'll just do one account. So I'm going to trade this one account. So I have one contract in the, this is where you change the units right next to the sell market option. You see this right here. There should be a number in there automatically. You'd change this number and this would be the amount of units, the amount of contracts that you're trying to enter. So let's say you wanted to enter 10 contracts on a position, 10 contracts on this position, micro NASDAQ contracts, we want to sell 10. So we want to enter shorts. If we're entering shorts, you'd press sell market. So if I press sell market right now, I'm just trading this one account currently. I'm just select, have this one account selected. I'm going to press sell market with 10 units. It is going to put me in a position. Order as you filled. can see in the bottom left here, I actually got a really good fill. This account is already up 90 bucks, but I entered 10 micro contracts and I'm instantly up 80 bucks. As you can see in the bottom left here. I don't know how it got me such a good fill. That usually doesn't happen, but uh, I'm already up 100 bucks. So now I'm in 10 contracts. As you can see, the net position, 10. And in the top left here, the position, you see 10 right here. And that's the, that's the total position, $105. That's how much I'm up right now. And then that'll be your P&L on the trade. And then right above that, you'll have the number for how many contracts you're in. So let's say I wanted to sell out half of what I'm in right now. So now I'll put five contracts in five contracts and I want to sell out of five contracts. So I want to leave five contracts running, but I want to get, I want to sell five contracts for profit. So now I'm in shorts. I'm up $110. I want to sell half of my position. I'm going to buy back market. So now I'm in 10 contracts. I'm going to buy back five to sell half. So now I'm going to buy market. Order and filled. As you can see, my position is in five contracts now. And my P and L is $62 on the position. So you have to sell market or buy market. You have to do the opposite of your entry. So if I'm entering shorts, you have to buy back longs to X scale out of your position and exit the position. So basically if I sell market, I need a buy market to exit my position. If I buy market, I need a sell market to exit my position and trim my position. So I'm in five contracts still. I'm going to buy market again to get completely 
exit out of my position to completely exit out of my position i have five units in here by market Order now filled. i'm completely out of my position for some reason it says realize pnl is 52 uh negative 52 i don't know why i lost money on that but um yeah that's basically how it works to buy or sell market that's how you place and enter positions with me so if i'm shorting if i'm saying i'm entering shorts i'm selling market if i'm buying longs i'm buying market right so that's the basics on entering and exiting a position. So now, and this is your current PL on the account. So now I'm going to show you guys how to place stop losses and take profits. So on the right hand side here, you see the price of micro NASDAQ. This is the, this is the price chart. So you can see the exact price you want. So when I enter a position, I give you guys an entry point. To set your stop loss, you would left click if you're on computer, left click on trade of eight. And as you can see, you get the price that you want. So as you can see, the price is on the right hand side here. You select the price that you want, you left click and it'll say sell stop or buy four limit. So that number, that number four there that says sell four stop or buy four, that's the top left. That's the amount of units you have in. So I have four units currently in that slot. So if I put in one, it'll change it to sell one stop, buy one limit. So if I change it to two, it'll change it to sell two stop, buy two limit. So that's how you change the amount of units you want for your stop loss So and your take profit. So a limit order tends to be a, um, so when I'm placing a limit order, that would be buying market. When I'm placing a sell order, a stop, that would be selling market. So when you're selling, when you're setting your, um, as you can see, it says stop and a limit. So when you're selling, setting a stop, you're setting a sell order. When you're setting a limit order, you're selling a buy order. So when you're buying, you're buying contracts. When you're selling, you're selling the contracts. So when we're selling, we're shorting. When we're buying, we're long. So to, if we're in shorts, if we're in a short position, you would have to buy back your contracts if you were setting a take profit. To set a stop loss, you would set a stop for your stop loss. And then if you, we were in longs, so let's say we're in longs, you would have to set a stop to take profits and you would have to set a limit for your stop loss. So that's the difference and that's how you set, you can select exactly where you want on the price to set your stop loss and your limit order. And basically when the price hits, when the price of the stock hits your stop or limit, it will automatically buy or sell the certain amount of contracts you do. So let's say I entered a position shorts. I entered shorts for 10 micros and I wanted to set a stop loss and I wanted to sell half my, I want, let's say I wanted to sell my whole position. So I'm in 10 micro NASDAQ contracts. I want to set a stop loss to sell out of my whole position. I would enter 10 up in the units and let's say we're in shorts. So we're betting on the market going down now to get out of my whole position. I would have to buy 10 limit. So I would set my take profits at the area I want and I would select so i would left click on the area i want let's say i wanted the price 21407 75 so now i would buy 10 limit i place a buy 10 limit so what that would do is this line right here now i set um so it says x it says times 5 actually this is an x not times 5 it says there's 5 right here so this is because i'm on the group so basically it's going to split that limit order between the group so since I have two accounts selected on the on the um, account group, it's gonna and I selected a, a a sell order, I mean a buy order of ten contracts. What it's gonna do is it's gonna split up those contracts between the two accounts on the sell order. So if it hits this number, it's gonna enter. Since I'm not in a position currently, it would enter me in a a buy order on five contracts per account. Since I entered ten and I have two accounts in the group. So if I, that's basically how the, um, stop limit works and how, um, the group trading works with that. If I were to buy one, if I were just on one account, trading one account, I'd unselect the group. Well, you wouldn't have a group. You would, um, put the amount of contracts. So you have 10 contracts in, you would just sell 10 stop. If you wanted to, um, sell contracts, you'd see over here, there's an X. You just press that X to get rid of it, or you could buy 10 and that's how you buy or sell and set limit orders and, um, stop losses. To, um, copy trade. I'll do, a, I'll do a quick example on how you do it. So to copy trade, 
you would select the drop down arrow on the accounts section you'd press manage groups manage groups you would then select the plus the gray plus icon then you put in a name I'll just make it new you can call it whatever you want I just called it new then you see the available accounts then you see the added accounts so you created a new group it's called new now you just drag the accounts over to added accounts so I have two accounts currently I dragged both of them over they are now added accounts they are now in this group now I'm gonna press save at the bottom here I press save account group successfully saved okay now I exit that now if I press the drop down arrow at the top right again now I have a group now I have a new account group that's what I called it it's new I will select this group and select one of the accounts that are in the group to trade it and now I have a copy trade now I have a group set up to do my copy trading so you can have up to 20 accounts and make a group with 20 accounts to simultaneously get the same entry and exit point using trade of eight on the right hand side here I have my accounts we have the drop down I press new on the group that I made I select one of the accounts you see the plus new on under the account that's how you know I have the group selected so for every account that you add to a group you need to be you need to enter trades in multiples of that number so for example if we're trading micro Nasdaq micro Nasdaq for example if I'm trading two accounts for example so my account I only have two evaluation accounts currently if I wanted to trade those both at the same time I would have to enter in multiples of two so the minimum entry would have to be two because it would have to be one contract per account at least so to sell out complete so if I entered a position with two contracts it would put one contract for each account so now I'm gonna enter two contracts two contracts this should be copy traded against with those two accounts so I'm gonna sell market two contracts order filled now as you can see now there's two P&Ls so both of my accounts are now in one contract of the micro Nasdaq so they're both in one contract they both have a P&L right now a live P&L on the bottom left here and if I wanted to double my positions now I'll buy another two or sell another two because I was in shorts so now order I, filled. I doubled my position right so now I doubled my position you can see my live p and I'm gonna close out of everything now so if I wanted to close out of everything I'm gonna buy back because I sold so I'm shorting so I'm gonna buy back longs four to get out of my as you can see we're in four contracts I'm gonna buy four order filled. I'm completely out of all my positions you can see my realized p and on both the accounts let's say I had five accounts I would have to enter at least five contracts each account would get one contract when trading as a group so if I wanted to get two contracts on each account and I had five accounts I would do 10 micro contracts if you had 20 accounts you would need at least 20 contracts to have one contract per account and if I wanted to double it you would just do 40 contracts for two um, to get two contracts per account when trading 20 for example the three lines at the top right this is the settings for trade of eight this is the trade of eight settings now we go to add-ons add-ons in the settings and as you can see right here trading view price is free you press activate activate trading view successfully processed you will need to log out and log back in log back in to begin using this add-on so now it's activated so that's that um yeah that's basically it for trade of eight um that's all I use trade of eight for is just buying and selling and copy trading so that's how you change tickers um and manage all your your accounts through trade of eight and see your trailing mm -hmm.